Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 66 So let's play Pokemon Coliseum, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, this is the fifth and final run of Deep Coliseum, and it is believed that Deep King is going to be here. At least that's what it said in the last email I got on the PDA. So if he's going to be here, this is going to be the chance to battle him. But obviously we're going to have to wait till the finals before that happens. Bring it on? Oof, your words, not mine. I'd be happy to bring it on, baby. Alright, Horsey and Ninkata. Okay, this seems like the ultimate tease. Given that we're in the fifth run, and yet these Pokemon are brought out? Granted, the levels are good, but the stats themselves are piss poor! Why would you go that route? Alright, let's test out this new Dragon Claw, shall we? It has an extra 20 attack power compared to Dragon Breath. If I want to use Paralysis, I might have to rely on Dragon Breath. But if I'm going for damage, which I tend to do, Dragon Claw it is. I replaced Parish Song with Dragon Breath Dragon Claw, because I felt it would be very valuable. Another alternative could have been to find a Move Deleter and get rid of Fly to make room for Dragon Claw. That's another option, but let's face it, I'm not exactly the ultimate min-maxer in all of Pokemon. I just play to have fun. I don't want to go through like a 30 pages of math equations to decide what is the best option for me, if both of them will get me a win. But anyways, let's move on and just try to take out this one. Oh yeah, this Ninkata's going down. And there we go, we move on to round two. Come on, I would have preferred Seedra and Ninjask, and then a Bayonet. Trying to give me a false sense of security, next thing you know, round two. Oh, we got big guys! Got like Slack King, Hitmonchan, and Alakazam, God knows what else. It is disappointing that it... The Pokemon Coliseum is pretty much applied with Ruby and Sapphire, yet there's so many Pokemon that are missing. You don't see any Gen 1 starters, never saw Dratini, Dragonair, or Dragonite, never saw Aerodactyl, Omastar, or Kabutops, God knows what else. Probably so many in Gen 2 that we're missing as well. Other evolutions we're missing. Most of the missing ones are from Gen 1. Alright, we've got Miss Dravis and Kecleon. This should be interesting nonetheless. I think I should use a Sludge Bomb here. And then Dragon Claw Miss Dravis. Let's go that route. No sense in using Earthquake, because Miss Dravis will just avoid it. Well, that side beam didn't do too much to me. Thankfully, I didn't get confused. Oh yeah, there's another strategy. Hitting it with a sludge bomb not only poisoned it, but now it's weak against ground. Oh crap, agent power. Don't get a stat boost, don't get a stat boost. Good. Just got HP reduction. All right, now I should use Earthquake. This Dragon Claw will finish off Miss Dravis. I love when a plan comes together. And hopefully the next Pokemon is super weak against Earthquake. Seedra? Yeah, this shape should be fine. Worst case scenario, Poison Point totally wrecks me. And I don't think it will. It'll just be an annoyance. Okay, we saw a horsey and a Seedra. It's a very weird looking pattern we got going on here. Ah, Kadabra. Interesting. Alright, so another Earthquake will do the trick. Uh, sadly, Dragon Claw is special, so Kadabra will not take too much damage. Ooh, but just enough to bring it to critical. Good thing I'm not using water moves. 
Now we should be able to win on this turn. Because Earthquake is totally gonna wreck those two. It's not a Horsey, then a Seedra. We're gonna see a Kingdra here? Because I always found Kingdra very frustrating to deal with. I mean, you can only use Dragon moves as super effective. Anything that can beat water, Dragon has resistance to. Like Electric, for instance. So don't expect this to be easy. Luckily, Colette does have Dragon moves, so that can neutralize Kingdra. Worst case scenario, that Kingdra has Ice Beam or Blizzard. And that'll trump my strategy altogether. But, let's deal with that when we get there. For now, we got this Hunter. Yeah, I'm interesting. Thanks for the compliment. Grons? Are you dumb or something? Um, a while and Murkrow. Level 66. Ooh, these levels are high. Not too damn high, but high enough. And then again, I got a level 72 on my side. So what am I complaining about? Alright, we should definitely use an Earthquake to bring down that Mawile. And Dragon Claw Murkrow. I don't expect Dragon Moves to be good against Mawile because it is a Steel type. Ooh! Got a nice crit there! Nice job, Colette, clawing off that Murkrow. Next is Relicanth. Water and Rock. Oh, this Earthquake, if Intimidate didn't bring my attack power down too much, could definitely wreck Relicanth, too. Wow, the wall survived. Oh my god. That defense is too damn high! And sadly, my speed's gonna drop. Hopefully not by too much. But Mawile and Relicanth seem like slow Pokémon, so I'm not worried. In fact, I still get to go first. Oh yeah, thank you for setting Grotus up for the win. Those two got no chance now. Alright, Grotus is slowly redeeming himself higher and higher. Just having him up there in front with Colette as a good support character. The Jew would also be good because he's resistant against ground. Not immune, but resistant. But either way, I don't really want to use Earthquake too much, because what if I'm dealing with flying types and they're both nerfed? Why are you shocked? You only brought three Pokémon with you. Anybody that brings less than five Pokémon should not be shocked if they lose. I'm sorry, but that's the way it is. Hmm, so are you the Deep King? Hey, you're charging me? You don't know what you're in for. Uh, nice outfit there. It looks see-through with netting. Ooh, speaking of Kingdra, he's got one. And he's got a level 69. <laughs> 69. Sableye. Remember, Sableye has no weakness. Thankfully, Sableye doesn't have Wonder Guard. Otherwise, I'd be jolly well effed in the A. Okay, so... How do we approach this? I don't know if Kingdra has Levitate, but let me try an Earthquake just in case. Definitely got a Dragon Claw out of that Kingdra, because that's the biggest threat. It is the highest level, after all. It's the only Pokémon you take on that's level 70 in the entire game. Unless you're counting Colosseum Oh, Jesus, it did have Ice Beam. Okay, Sableye almost got defeated. And if I remember, Deep King Agnol does have a Shuckle that's a Shadow Pokemon. So I gotta be very careful when I do use Earthquake. Because I don't want to feign it. Even though it does have extremely high defense, I don't want to risk it. Alright, next is Girafferig. And Grotus is confused. Well, at least I can use Colette's turn to take out Sableye. So you know what? I'm definitely going to do that. Sludge Bomb Giraffe Rig to play it safe. 
I suppose I can just use Dragon Breath. I don't need to use Dragon Claw. That seems like overcompensating. If I did not do enough damage with Dragon Breath, I would have pissed myself in utter failure. Okay, Skarmory is next. Level 66. That's Steel and Flying. Oh, yep, Grotus is down. No, Colette's down. That's right. Colette's the one with low HP. Yep, don't be upset, Colette. You did your best. I mean, you did take do a lot of damage to Kingdra, and you took out Sableye. You should be proud. Okay, we got Giraffarig and Skarmory. I don't want to bring in Tiju, because Skarmory will wreck it completely. I should just bring in Cold to neutralize Skarmory. Grotus will do fine on the Giraffarig front. Which is weird, because Giraffarig sometimes attacks from the back as well. You would think Giraffarig would be psychic and dark. I mean, just by looking at that Pokemon, not just pure psychic. Just a little observation on my end. Huh. Barbecue Skarmory, anyone? Don't try to marinate it. It could take 300 years. Shedinja! Oh, good thing I still got coal. He's going to be very useful here. Well, that could also be useful if she was still active because of using flying moves on a bug type. Remember, I have to use super effective moves to take out a Shedinja. Otherwise, you never win. Okay, one more turn and Giraffe Rig's down unless he uses full restore. Okay, we're very close to getting that Shuckle in play. So now bring it on. Alright. We got through most of his Pokemon. He doesn't seem like much of a king after all. More like a Joker. <laughs> and not the Heath Ledger kind either. Alright. So this is Shadow Pokemon number 47. After we catch it, there's only one Shadow Pokemon left in the entire game. Nice of you to snap out of that confusion, Grotus. And there we go. We got Shuckle all to itself. So now things are really looking up. Remember, gotta use the Master Ball. Because, you know, might as well. I've already committed to the Master Ball swap. Why stop there? Okay, swap it. And I'll just call out to Cole because he's lonely. He's pretty lonely being the only Pokemon on my team in the 50s. Now you're mine. Without much effort. Hard to believe there's only one more Shadow Pokemon left to catch in the entire game. Yep, I'm skilled because I trained a lot of my Pokemon and used types that were more effective than yours. Okay. We made it through Deep Coliseum completely. We're done with it. I'm the champion and... Did I actually get less money? And no TMs? Okay, I don't understand that. But... I guess just catching a shuckle makes up for it. Anyways, I'm gonna stop the video right here, and in the next episode, I'm gonna meet you where we can battle Firma and Wreath. See ya, everyone.